the corner or? Yeah. Oh, there's a oh, there we go. Got one. Baltimore, not Connell. A. Vogler and Company. Well, that's an that's early one. Nice. Red Star. It's a nice 1870s here. one. Red Star Coffee. Here. Goes well for the middle. Yeah, it does. So who was A. Vogler and what was his story? Well, today we will find out. I am your host, Evan Woodard, and this is the story behind the relic, the A. Vogler and Company. August Vogler was born in Minden, Germany in 1819 and immigrated to the United States in 1839. After he arrived in Baltimore, he started working at a wholesale drug company, Smith & Atkinson, located at 228 Baltimore Street. In 1845, Vogler opened his own drug store, the A. Vogler & Company, on the second floor of 9 Liberty Street. This block is long gone and is now the home of the CFG Bank Arena. During the California Gold Rush of 1849, the USS Lexington, a United States naval sloop, transported roughly 913 pounds of gold back to Baltimore. This gold shipment was valued at $233,000 then, which would be worth almost $26.6 million today. 354 pounds of that gold was consigned to various merchants around the city of Baltimore. Vogler received one and a half pounds, which is valued at $45,000 today. In 1872, the SS Berlin, which was owned by the North German Lloyd Line, docked in Baltimore and delivered five cases of small wares to Vogler. Some of the other goods on the SS Berlin were kegs of herring, crates of toys, and barrels of wine. Let me know in the comments if you would like for me to make a video about how a partnership between a North German Lloyd Line and the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad led to Baltimore becoming one of the largest ports of entry for immigrants from the mid-1800s to the early 1900s. Okay, back to the story of August Vogler. Vogler formed a partnership with Adolf C. Myers to produce Dr. J.W. Bull's cough syrup in 1873. This company was called A.C. Meyer & Company. After working together for 10 years, Meyer purchased Vogler's share of the company in 1883. In 1876, while Vogler was working with Myers on J.W. Bull's cough syrup, he formed a new partnership with his son, Charles Vogler and John Winkleman, called Vogler Son & Company. The group went on to produce St. Jacob's Oil, which was one of the best-selling patent medicines in the world. Shortly after forming the new company, Vogler's son, Charles, died from typhoid fever at the age of 31 on August 5, 1882. That very same day, Christian DeVries purchased the controlling share, three-fifths, and all rights to the Vogler Son & Company from August Vogler and John Winkleman for $210,000. Mimi Vogler, Charles's wife, purchased the remaining two-fifths of the company from her husband's estate for $140,000. Mrs. Vogler, Mr. DeVries, and Herman Umstetter formed a new partnership called Charles A. Vogler & Company and transferred all the trademarks and patents from the Vogler Son & Company to it. Almost two years later, the Charles A. Vogler Company sued the A.C. Meyer Company for patent infringement of their well-known St. Jacob's Oil. A.C. Meyer sold a low-priced knockoff called Salvation Oil. The judge ruled in favor of Charles A. Vogler & Company who would go on to win many more patent and trademark cases around the world. August Vogler retired from the drug making business on January 1st, 1889 and lived in Baltimore until his death in 1908. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.